Hello and welcome to the whiskey.com news. And we have a very big number of new interesting whiskey news. Yeah, I think during the lockdown, everybody limited themselves, took a bit back and now they're ready to bounce back. Yeah, so first off is Port Allen. Yeah, not much coming out from Port Allen lately, but now they're coming with nine rogue casks, 40 year old. Yeah, there are nine kind of different casks. They are very, very old, 40 years old, very limited as everything that's coming out from Port Allen and 1,380 bottles, 50.9% ABV. And we'll probably have that here on our cask as well. Then we have a Bladnock single cask and it's called the Mazzanilla 2005-2020. And as the name suggests, it's a 15 year old Bladnock with a Mazzanilla cask. 51.5% ABV and not colored, not chill filtered. Uh, then we have some very sad news for everybody who's planning to go to Scotland, uh, Glen Farkless wants to stay closed for the whole year. So not that, not, not that good. And I was hoping that the rest of the year will become a bit better. Then we have Douglas Lang, which brings out a new Epicurean wood uh, finish. Yeah, it's the second edition from the wood finish series. And this time it's a cognac finish. Uh, two single casks from cognac blended together. 48% um, ABV, not colored, not chill filtered. Uh, it's not clear how they will reach the international markets or, or it's not clear when they will reach the international markets, but they will do. Then we have news from Virt Virtual Spark batch number four, heavily peated. It's from the house of Meadows side and it's a small batch bottling and it has 10 years, was matured in a sherry butt, 53.5% ABV and limited to 1,891 bottles. And then we go down to the 1770 Glasgow um, single mall, triple distilled. They have the release number one. It's um, in virgin oak. It's uh, a limited release and it has 46% ABV. Then we have some news from Wales. Well, not much coming from out there. I've already talked about the new distillery that the Pandaren distillery is planning. And uh, they, the distillery is called Landudnor, probably butchering that pronunciation. And that is planned for the northern Wales. It's kind of a, a small drive from Liverpool to the west. And I've already talked about what they're planning there. And now they get, got their building permit. So what they want to do is they want to open the distillery in 2021. Then we have some news from the science of whiskey making. Yes, they developed a new weed, yeah, a weed grain. And this weed um, is less sticky. If you produce a whiskey with weed, you have a lot of sticky stuff going around. And that's really bad for cleaning all your equipment. You have to shut down, clean all the equipment and you have a bit of downtime before you run again. And with this new weed, you do have uh, less stickiness and therefore less downtime and probably many more people will try the new weed and weed whiskey. Not quite sure how the Sc uh, traditional Scottish people will do because they are kind of stuck to barley. But they're the new distilleries, craft distilleries, so they will all try a bit of weed. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Red Breast um, is bringing out a new Dream Cask Ruby Port edition. It's the third uh, edition from the Limited series. It was matured for 28 years in a mixture of ex bourbon cask, um, Oloroso Sherry Butts, or was it Sherry Butts? Uh, Sherry Buds, Oloroso Sherry Buds, and in the end, the Ruby Port casks. 51.5% ABV. Sounds like a really good whiskey. Yeah. 
Then we have Woodford. Uh, they are revealing their single farm origin series. It's the first from the Irish uh, whiskey uh, series from the distillery and uh, it's a mixture of three single malts. Or they have three single malts, all from 100% Irish barley. And it came out in uh, will come out in June. Then we have news from Buffalo Trace. They're bringing out an, their new brand of the Weller Single Barrel. Yeah, so the Weller brand is not a big brand, but one of the brands from Buffalo Trace. And that's gonna be a new bourbon. They will come out yearly in June and will be hopefully available all around the world, but at least in America. Yeah, so a lot of news this week. And thank you very much for listening. If you like the news format, then please hit the subscribe button and we will have weekly updates. Thank you very much and see you next time.